Hi everyone, it's Melissa Wilson, physician assistant and ask an expert for AIM at Melanoma. Um, thank you again for coming back to join me for another lecture with Melanoma 101. Um, today we're gonna talk about how does melanoma form. Um, obviously, if you've watched any of our prior Melanoma 101 lecture, um, we talked about initially how melanocytes get to where they are supposed to be and what their function is. Um, the fact that they produce melanin, um, which not only gives us our skin pigment, but also protects our skin from DNA um, damage, which in some way, shape, or form can come from either the UV light or other mutations that can occur in our skin, either from trauma or burning or damage, whatever the case may be. Um, so you know, or you should already know, how normal development of melanocytes happens. So here we're gonna talk about what happens when those melanocytes actually grow abnormally um, because that's where mel uh, melanoma actually comes from. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to look at this little picture here because if you remember from our prior how do mole form lecture, um, you know that melanocytes are present in this junction between the epidermis and the dermis and you know that they're pretty um, evenly spaced, spaced for the most part and when they form a little aggregate cluster that's when a mole forms and so in a normal quote normal because no norm is, no mole is completely normal but when you look at a normal mole you'll see that it has very regular borders and appears very much normal in color and that's what it looks like so this is this part of your skin you can see so this little cluster of melanocytes gives rise to a mole. However, when melanocytes in that area um, don't grow normally because of DNA damage from whatever source, um, which the most common, just so that you know, is UV light, um, when that happens and the cells become damaged, it actually damages the DNA. Um, and the reason that that's important is the DNA in a cell is what tells the cell what its job is, how it's supposed to grow. It's basically the blueprint for, this, for the cell that tells us what its job is and what it's supposed to do. So when that DNA is damaged, sometimes your immune system actually will go back and, and it's a very complex system, but sometimes it'll go back and actually repair that damage. Unfortunately, sometimes it won't go back and repair that damage. And when that happens, the cell is abnormal and lacks normal function. One of those functions can actually be its inability to recognize when it's supposed to stop growing. So um, on a very basic level, when cells grow and they touch each other, they know that they're supposed to stop. Cancer cells... Um, have a lot of abnormalities in them, but one of the things is that they lack that inhibition to stop growing and they lack like the life cycle um, that they're supposed to have. And so what actually ends up happening is that the cell will continue to um, divide itself and continue to grow and it will clump up on itself. And so then it sort of forms this tumor. And in melanoma, those cells grow up and they grow down and, and they form... Um, this big giant mass and so then what you see on the skin is an atypical proliferation of melanocytes um, that actually um, may have irregular borders they might have areas that are raised um, as this cluster of cells continues to grow and it needs more blood a lot of times it'll grow deeper down into the skin looking for blood vessels um, it will sometimes cause some ulceration on the skin because it that part of the mole is actually dying because it's not getting adequate blood supply for its size. Um, melanomas, um, by and large, will grow out before they grow down looking for blood. Um, and that's something, again, that we can talk about in later lectures when we look at the different types of melanomas. But, um, you know, what the take home message is, is that DNA damage causes the cell to function completely abnormally and forget to, not forget, but for whatever reason, not stop growing when it's appropriate and not have the normal life cycle of a cell. And so then it continues to grow and, and make copies of itself that are also abnormal. And over time that forms a tumor. The reason that this is important um, to understand is that it frames 
a lot of the things that you see on pathology reports in terms of mitoses, which is division of cells, and Breslow depth, which tells us how much clumping um, has extended down into the skin of these abnormal cells. And so there are a lot of components that um, understanding um, the biology of the melanoma actually can make all the other things make a lot more sense. I really hope that you have learned um, how melanomas form um, based upon their atypical um, melanocyte formation and DNA damage. Um, I really look forward to showing you lots more things um, in our Melanoma 101 lecture. If you have questions, please reach out to me on the Ask an Expert website, either by phone or by email, um, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Have a wonderful day.